In this lesson, we will learn how to solve equations involving powers. In particular, we will solve equations where the variables are in the exponents. Now notice that in this equation, we have base 11 on both sides. Well, we happen to have a nice rule that says, if b to the power of x equals b to the power of y, then x must equal y. So if 11 to the power of 4x plus 3 equals 11 to the power of 3x minus 2, it must be the case that the two exponents here are equal. From here, when we solve this relatively easy equation, we can see that the solution is x equals negative 5. Alright, let's try another one. In this equation, we have a base of 5 on the left-hand side, and we have a base of 25 on the right-hand side. Now, if we want to apply our rule here, we must have the same base on both sides of the equation. To fix this, let's take our 25 here and rewrite it as 5 squared. Now, let's simplify the right-hand side. Since we have a power of a power here, we can apply the power of a power rule to see that the right-hand side simplifies to be 5 to the power of 2 times 2x plus 1. From here, when we expand the exponent on the right-hand side, we can see that the base on the left-hand side is now equal to the base on the right-hand side. As such, we can apply our rule here to see that the two exponents must be equal. Now to solve this equation for x, we will first subtract 2x from both sides, then subtract 2 from both sides, and then divide both sides by 2 to get x equals negative 5 halves. Alright, let's try one more equation. Here are the two bases in the equation are not equal. Now since we cannot write 9 as a power of 27, and we cannot write 27 as a power of 9, we need to rewrite both bases so that they have the same base. To do this, we can express both bases as powers of 3. First, we can take 9 here and rewrite it as 3 squared, and then we can take 27 and rewrite it as 3 cubed. Now on both sides here, we have powers of powers, so we can apply the power of a power law to get the following results. From here, we can expand the exponents on both sides to get the following. Now, since both bases are equal, we can apply our rule that says the two exponents must be equal. To solve this equation for x, we will subtract 3x from both sides, and then subtract 2 from both sides to get the solution x equals negative 11. Now, before we conclude this lesson, it should be noted that this rule isn't completely accurate, since there are some conditions where it is not true. For example, if 0 to the power of x equals 0 to the power of y, can we then conclude that x equals y? Well, the answer is no. For example, we know that 0 to the power of 3 equals 0 to the power of 5, but 3 does not equal 5. So for our rule to work here, we need to add the condition that the base does not equal 0. Now consider this example. If 1 to the power of x equals 1 to the power of y, can we then conclude that x equals y? Once again, the answer is no. For example, 1 to the power of 2 does equal 1 to the power of 7, but 2 does not equal 7. So we have another condition regarding the base in our rule. It cannot equal 1. In this last example, consider the situation where negative 1 to the power of x equals negative 1 to the power of y. If this is true, can we conclude that x equals y? No. Negative 1 to the power of 2 equals negative 1 to the power of 4, yet 2 does not equal 4. So we have another condition to add to our rule. The base cannot equal negative 1. So in order to apply our rule, we must ensure that the base does not equal 0, 1, or negative 1. Alright, let's summarize. In this lesson, we learned how to solve equations with variables in the exponents. To do so, first rewrite the equation so that both sides have equal bases. Then apply the following rule that says the exponents must be equal. Finally, solve the resulting equation.